Hello everyone, welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. In this video, I am doing the wish list tag. This tag was created by Quilting Beauty and Books. I will link her channel down below. And Lou from Christian Faith and Fiction did the tag and then tagged me. So thank you for tagging me. So that's what I'm doing today. So what you're supposed to do in this tag is look at your book wish list, whether it's on Goodreads or Amazon or whatever you would make a bookish wish, wish list and then you're supposed to go through the alphabet and find authors with the last name that starts with each letter of the alphabet and then pick a book that you would like to own with each letter. If that makes sense, I feel like that was confusing. So for example, we would start with the letter A and then I would look at my wish list at authors whose last names start with A and then pick a book that I would like to own. So Lou was looking at her Goodreads TBR and picking from that and that's what I'm going to do because I don't really have, like I do have books on my wish list but not a ton of books, not enough books to do even probably half the letters of the alphabet. So I'm going to be looking at my TBR so the books that I'm picking are going to be ones that like I want to read the most I guess and not necessarily own. I just have been wanting to read them so that's what I'm doing. So A. I have a few authors here. I have Tessa Afshar, uh, Jillian Bronte Adams, who I heard about from Christian Faith and Fiction, um, and Misu Andrews, Lynn Austin, and that's it. Um, I think I'm going to go with Song of Redemption by Lynn Austin because it's book two in a series. I own book one of God and Kings and I really enjoyed that one and I would like to read the next book in the series, so that's the one I'm going with. B... I have Judy Bear, Rick Berry, Mark Batterson, Joanne Bischoff, Terry Blackstock. I have quite a few under B. Mm, what do I want? Ooh, Busey. I think I'm going to pick Daughter of Light by Morgan L. Busey. This is a series that I haven't read by her yet, but she's one of my favorite authors. And I believe it's a fantasy. So I'm very interested and would really want to read that one. C. Patrick W. Carr, Judy Carlson, Carla Capshaw, never heard of her, but I have her book on here. Robin Carroll, and Katie Clark. Oh, I have a couple by Katie Clark. Then I'm going to pick Awake and Alive to Truth by John L. Cooper. I've listened to his podcast a couple times and watched like an interview that he did with someone and I really like what he has to say. I was really impressed and it was just good to hear someone saying what he actually says so I wanted to like support him by buying his book and yeah I think it would have some good stuff in it so I'm gonna pick that one. I plan to buy it at some point I just haven't yet. D we have CJ Darlington, Brian Davis, Rochelle Decker, Ted Decker. I don't think I'm gonna pick that one. I'm gonna pick Jupiter Wins by CJ Darlington because this is a book series that I've heard Lindsay from BFCG talk about a lot. She really likes these books and I think they're sci-fis. Jupiter Wins, duh. E, like two books. Endeavor by Brock Eastman and Ashburn by Julia Erickson. Brock Eastman does the Quest for Truth series, which is like a middle grade teen series uh, sci-fi that me and my brother have read, and I did like those. I think I would try Ashburn by Julia Erickson. I forget where I found out about this book at or heard about it from, but apparently it has to do with like secret missions and like spies and stuff, and that's just right up my alley. I really like spy books, if you didn't know that. F. John Flanagan, Rachel Fordham, Harry James Fox, I don't know. Lindsay. Oh, I'm going to pick The Story Peddler by Lindsay A. Franklin. I've heard about this book a lot, and I'm very interested to read it. I really want to read that. G. I'm going to pick, I don't even have to think about it, The Defiance by Laura Gallier. That's book three in her Delusion series. It's a book about like spiritual warfare and all that stuff. And it's a really good series if you're looking for a book about that kind of thing. H. There's a lot of H's on here. All right, I'm going to pick The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hadlow because I've already talk, mentioned this book in a library haul that I did. I have that one on hold at the library actually. I'm just waiting for it to come in. It's about Mary Bennett from, you know, Pride and Prejudice. I. Close to You by Kara Isaac is the only I one that I have on here. So I guess that one. J. Synapse by Stephen James, Jerry B. Jenkins. I think I'm gonna pick The Chosen, I Have Called You By Name by Jerry B. Jenkins. I have watched season one of The Chosen and it's 
such a good show you guys you need to check it out if you haven't watched it yeah and there's a book it's not out yet it's coming out next month and i really want to read it we'll see if it's like as good as the show or if they like changed it or whatever okay la kelly ronnie kindig christine kindberg julie Klassen. JL Knight. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dykin's Air by JL Knight. The book hasn't released yet. She's still working on it, but definitely that one for K. Definitely. Ugh, such a good series. L. To Tame a Land. I've heard that's a good book by Louis Lamar. Lamar? Lamar. L Louis Lamar. Lots of L's to choose from. <laughs> Decisions. I'm gonna pick Olivia Twist by Lori Langdon. I've been wanting to read this book for a long time. I really like the cover. It's like Oliver Twist, but like a girl. It's a YA, which like, I try to read all, any Christian YA I can get my hands on just cause I feel like there's not as many. And I still really like YA books. I just do. M, lots of Aaron Mangum books. So I'm probably gonna pick one of those. I Need Page Turned by Aaron Mangum. It's book two in the Paige Adler series. And I read book one like several years ago and I, I need to find out what happens next. In I think I'm going to go with The Traitor's Game by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Love medieval fantasy. It's my genre. L. Oh wait, not L. O. Jeanette Oak, Bruce Olsen, Sandra Orchard. I need Over Maya Dead Body by Sandra Orchard because it's book three in a series. I own the other two books and I still haven't read over Maya dead body so I need to read it this is like a mystery series and they're all like art related so all the titles are like clever so there's like a fool in his Monet another day another dolly and over Maya dead body clever and I really like the covers he catch it by Gary Paulson I've heard a couple people talk about that one I think it's like a survival thing like this kid is like there's a plane crash and then he has to like survive on his own in the woods or something or maybe on an island. But also, Finding La Lady Enderly, Why Can't I Speak, by Joanna Davidson Politano. I really like her books. What to pick, what to pick. I think I'm gonna pick Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Q, I did not have any books on my TBR for the letter Q. When Lou did this, I think she had Seeking All of Finding Jesus by Nabil Qureshi on her TBR, and that's the one she picked. And it's not on here because I've already read it, but I would like to own it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. It's probably like the only Q name that I even know of, so. R, I have Catherine Ray, Sandra Fernandez Rhodes. That book looks interesting. Looks like a fantasy. The Colliding Line, book one. Is this a Christian series? Ooh, Supernatural. I think I'm gonna pick this one. This one looks interesting and it sounds interesting. So I'm gonna pick Mortal Sight by Sandra Fernandez Rhodes. A mouthful. S. Ruta Sepetis. How do you say her last name? I've heard people say it so many times, and no matter how many times I hear her last name said, when I go to say it, I like trip up and I'm like, how do you pronounce it again? Sepetis? Is that it? I think I'm gonna pick Salt to the Sea by her because I've heard she's a really good author and that this is a good book. T. Allison Tebow, Janice Thompson, Amy Timberlake. Michael Todd, Tolkien, Jan Toronto, Carrie Transky, Bethany Turner, Corinna Turner, Kathy Tier Tires. None of these are speaking to me at the moment. I really need to update my TBR list on here. A lot of these books, like, I don't want to read anymore or, like, I don't even know what they are. I'll pick Little Red Riding Hood by Alison Tebow. She does little uh, fairy tale retellings, little short novellas, and they're very cute. I have nothing for you, so we're going to go to V. The Summer of Cotton Candy by Debbie Vigue. I don't know how to say her last name. Um, I've heard Lindsay from BFCG talk about this series and she said this book was really cute. It's like a YA contemporary about a girl that has to work at a fair or something. I swear my library used to have that series and now I can't find it. I looked the other day and it wasn't there anymore. W. Becky Wade. Becky Wade. Becky Wade. I have a few of her books on here. For W, I'm gonna pick Wayfair by K.M. Wyland because it looks like fantasy. I really like the cover. And is this steampunk? What is this? Gas lamp fantasy? I don't know what that means. Oh, it's about a guy with superhuman abilities, the first superhero ever. See, that just sounds cool. That just sounds like something I need to read. This is what I'm going with. 
I need to see if my library has this. It sounds very interesting. I have nothing for the letter X, nothing for the letter Y. And then for Z, the only book I have is Walking from East to West, God in the Shadows by Ravi Zacharias. So I think this is the book like telling his story and like how he came to America and got saved maybe and all that stuff so want to read that at some point and that's the end that's all the books so yeah I was able to pick books for most of the letters there were only like what like four or something that I couldn't think of any books lots of good books so many that I want to read let me know if any of the books that I mentioned are books that are on your TBR or books that you would like to own I'd love to hear about it thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next bookish ramblings video bye